Okay, so today we're going to take a look at uh, objects isolated over white. A lot of times people take a shot and it comes out like this. You know, they shot it over a, a white background, maybe it wasn't fully exposed. Um, sometimes you just want to clean it up. You know, you've got some shadows you might not like. Uh, a friend of mine recently told me about an easy way to make it go from that to that. And this doesn't involve any kind of selection tools or anything. All you really have to do is use your dodge tool, which is right over here. If you don't see it, you can hold your mouse button down onto this tool, and you'll see that there's the burn tool, the sponge tool, and the dodge tool. It's in that group. We're going to take the dodge tool, and let's start with a fresh picture. Here we go. This one, it's got a little bit of space, so I'm going to actually go to my clone tool really quick. Right click, get my brush size a little bigger and we're going to select the source part of the photo and then just spray it onto this spot here we gotta uh, that's the edge of the backdrop and just once I clean that up now you can get started okay so we're going to your dodge tool and when you click on your dodge tool you've got obviously up here you get your size I'm gonna make it a little bigger and we're gonna dodge the highlights this way it's only gonna affect the white area the sunglasses, the darker areas of the glasses, it's actually going to stay. It's not going to really affect it. And what I'm going to be doing basically is just knocking out the background. So let me hit highlights and exposure. I have it down to about, eh, I'll put it to about 15%. And all you do is just start brushing away. If I put the exposure up a little more, it would probably just work a little faster. So let me up it to 40. Let's try that. And that's a little quicker and you just brush over it basically and when you get near the glasses it doesn't really even affect it really all it's doing is pretty much just erasing away your white isolation the backdrop and you can go you can get a little wild with this it looks like right on the highlight right on the edge where the earpiece is it brightened it just a tad but if you know if I wanted to be more careful I could go back and, and you know use a smaller brush around that section um, I'm really not worried it's just for demonstration purposes but it, it's pretty it's pretty easy I mean it's a lot easier than going back you know using your pen tool to make a selection or or using the uh, the lasso or anything that's gonna you know have to cause you to do all kinds of tweaking so as I'm doing this as you can see everything's going away and it even it's even killing the little shadows um, once I get into this tighter areas maybe I'll make my brush size a little smaller bring it down there we go really get in there without having to really go right over the the frame and brighten up the frame that much there we go and we just got this one little section and that's pretty much it and there you go you got your glasses totally isolated and you got you know you zoom into a hundred percent I mean that's a pretty clean isolation sometimes you can go back you can hit a little high you know a couple of the spots you might have missed I mean piece of cake right so that's it and we go from this here to this and now I could even adjust my levels if I want to I want to make them a little brighter, darker. Everything looks pretty good. Pretty good to go. And we're done. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it.